This movie describes how to use the pair of activities two-digit multiplication. Here we have the multiplication problem 36 times 24 and it's represented with an array of base 10 blocks. We have flats or hundreds, these are the purple squares. We have rods or tens, these are the green rectangles, and we have units or ones. These are the yellow squares. So how does this array of base 10 blocks represent 36 times 24? Well, we see that there are four smaller arrays whose areas we can compute. We have a 30 by 20 whose area is 600. We have a 30 by 4 whose area is 120. We have a 6 by 20 whose area again is 120. And we have this yellow array here whose area is 6 times 4, or 24. We can choose to see all of these numbers, the partial products being added together, and their sum is 864, which is the product of 36 and 24. To view a different product using base 10 blocks, we can drag these orange points. For instance, I can drag this point up, and I might drag this point down, and I can drag these orange points as well. And here we see a different problem, 28 times 45, and again we can view the partial products. A second version of this model is really the same as the first, but now we don't see the base 10 blocks. We just see the broad outlines of the four different arrays. We can choose, if we wish, to view the base 10 blocks or turn them off by pressing this button again. We can view the partial products directly in the arrays and we can view the sum of the partial products and we can turn those on and off. As before, by dragging the blue points, we can change the multiplication problem that we're solving. Now, let's look at the second part of the two-digit multiplication pair of activities. And this one again uses base 10 blocks, but now we're going to be looking at negative areas as well as positive areas. So here we have the problem 20 times 37. 37 is represented as 30 plus 7, but we could also represent it a different way as 40 minus 3. Let's look at how that would appear. I'll drag this blue point to make 40, and I'll drag this point back. So here we have 20 times 40, which is 800. And now I'm going to drag this orange point to the left, and we see that we have this new area, the orange area, composed of orange rods, whose area is 20 times 3, or 60. So we started with 800, and now we're actually subtracting this area of 60. So if we look at that in terms of the numbers in an equation, we have 20 times 37 is equal to 20 times 40 minus 3, which is equal to 20 times 40 minus 20 times 3, or 740. Let's look at a related problem. How about 18 times 37? Well, let's return again to 20 times 40. And if we subtract 3 to get 37, we see that we started with 800 and we sub have subtracted 60. Now what about the 18? Well, I can drag this point up. And just for sake of reference, let me move this point back a second. So by making this 18, we're subtracting 2 times 40, or 80. So notice we've subtracted this entire strip. It's now gone. But we also subtracted this entire strip here. It's all gone. Well, what about these unit squares here twice, the ones that are shaded extra dark? What happened with those? Well, we removed them once when we subtracted this vertical strip but we seem to have removed them again when we subtracted this horizontal strip. 
And we can't do that because these were already gone. So in fact, we can't subtract it twice, so we need to add it back in once so that we account for the fact that it's, we can't do double counting here. So let's view that as an equation. 18 times 37 is equal to 20 minus 2 times 40 minus 3. And if we break that down, that is 20 times 40 minus 2 times 40, this horizontal orange strip, minus 3 times 20, this vertical orange strip. But now we have to add this little array back once, which is area is 2 times 3 or 6. Now, understanding why you need to add this back is something that really requires some time. My explanation here in this video is probably not enough to make that clear, but solving enough problems should help you to understand that part. So this concludes the movie Two-Digit Multiplication, and you can use both activities, parts one and two, which use base 10 blocks with positive area and base 10 blocks with negative area.